What's up tech lovers? How are you all doing? I hope everything's great. Today on Tech Ground, we bring you a very ambitious review when it comes to home cleaning. And it's this robot vacuum cleaner that promises to be one of the most affordable and most complete on the market. Introducing the MOBA E30 Ultra. MOBA may be an unfamiliar name to you as it was to me until recently. And that's because I tried this robot vacuum cleaner that costs much less than a Xiaomi X20 Plus but works just as well. And it's the best robot vacuum cleaner we can find. For less than 400 euros, no more and no less than 7,000 pascals of Bormax suction, mop lift up to 10.5 millimeters with automatic care and maintenance. Besides, we can control everything from the app. And if you want to know if this is really the ultimate robot to forget about the broom and dustpan, then stick around because this looks promising. I'll tell you everything here on TechGround. Well, behind this little but powerful cleaning robot is MOVA, a brand that, although it hasn't been in the market as long as other giants in the industry, is making a name for itself through innovation and efficient robots. And honestly, really good prices. MOVA is committed to total automation and smart integration in our home. And the E30 Ultra is a highly recommended product for less than 400 euros. It comes with a three-year warranty and local support centers. If you enjoy this content, please like it, subscribe, and enable notifications. Here at TechGround, we always bring you the latest and best technology for your everyday life. Now, I'll leave you with the unboxing so you can see what's inside the box. Well, we've already taken the products out of their original packaging. Here we have the three items, the station, the accessory box, and the box where we'll find the robot. Let's open them one by one to see how they're arranged and built. We remove the plastic from the base station, the base station which as you can see is completely white with no contrast at all and up here it has the name. If we open the top cover, we see these two tanks, a clean water tank of 4.5 liters and a dirty water tank of 4 liters. We also have the lid that gives us access to the dust bag, a dust bag of about 3.2 liters. What I don't see is the little bottle for mixing the cleaning solution. But we do have a base that can be removed for cleaning where the mops will also be cleaned. Here we have the accessory box, the ramp for the station also in white, just put it on. Instruction manual, the two mop discs for the mops and the brush with synthetic bristles as well. A power cable about one and a half meters long with a connection. I think you can see there it's a European connection for the station. And finally the robot. The robot that also comes very well protected. Well, as you can see, it's completely white. Also with the camera on the front. Let's install this, fit it in. And install it. And the mops, since they're magnetized, you just have to put them in place. That's everything in the original box, the station, robot, papers, power connection, and little else. Well, everything's already out now. Let's proceed to take it to the installation area and set up the app, turn it on, and see how it works and how it performs. The first thing will be to place the base in a spot, then we put the robot on the base and finally connect it to the power. And here we have our MOVA setup. Let's fill the tanks, in this case, uh, the clean water tank. Once the tank is in place, let's proceed to enter the app. And within the app, we're going to tap on scan QR to connect. Let's activate the robot. I'll record the screen as we open the MOVA app and tap scan to connect. Inside here, you'll find the QR code next to the button. Also the reset, since here we have the option to reset the device, get the QR code, scan it and enter our password. We place the robot on the station as it tells us the robot has turned on. It tells us to press these two buttons, the sound button and the home button. It already tells us that it has heard the prompt to set up the network. Next it tells us that it has finished connecting and now we will have access to the robot. And here we can already see a main section where we see the device topic, global cleaning. This section provides tutorials for voice control using Amazon Alexa or Google Home. Upon entering the device, it will first inform us that we are about to edit a mapping as expected. 
Up here on the right, you have the cleaning history, scheduled cleanings, carpet settings for vacuuming, mopping, first clean carpets, floor cleaning settings, wider coverage, and cleaning settings around the pet area. We'll also do that once the mapping is done, docking adjustment, so that when it arrives, it does the automatic washing, dries the mops in the open air for four hours, and does the automatic emptying. The language and the volume, in this case, I'm going to see if I can download the Spanish one. More functions, do not disturb mode, rest mode, charging in the valley zone, remote control, which we can also operate remotely, as you can see here. The remaining time left for the materials, that is the useful life of the different parts of the robot. Up here, let's see, in this part right here, I don't know if you can see it. The square meters it has cleaned, the time, and the charge it has. In this case, it's 40%. The cleaning customization is done manually. We can select the suction power and route, standard or fast. Let's begin mapping. It will take 5-10 minutes. We already have the map detected in the living room, and here we can already customize our map. Now we can enter the visualization, we can add furniture icons, rotate the map in one direction or another, 90 degrees, okay? To have it the way we like, and also see the map in three dimensions. And now let's see how we can, in map editing, both rename and backup, how to also restore our map and even delete it. And inside we can do partitioning, we can merge several maps, we can split areas. If we don't want to have access in this area and want them to be two separate rooms, like in my case, it would be roughly from here. So far, the map recognition has been done. What we see here is the kitchen. So here we would have the living room, which is this large common area. And this one here we can rename and I'm going to name it kitchen. This way, we'll have two separate rooms to know where it's cleaning at any given time and be able to use different scenarios. We also have the option for the floor type and I'm going to set it as tiles, which is the case in my apartment. We also have horizontal floor, vertical floor. If we have carpets, we can add a carpet, but in my case, I don't have any carpets. And also a virtual threshold in case we have a transition from one room to another. If we have a small step that it can climb about one and a half to two centimeters to go from one place to another, I don't have a threshold either. What I have is a step we can add furniture. In this case, I'm going to add a sofa, a three-seater sofa. We also have tables and chairs. I have a square coffee table, which would be about here. These are the legs. That's why I have a guide. Now viewing the map in 3D will already have from being empty to having different types of elements already placed here, each one in its position to give us an idea of where the robot is. Well, now I would have my environment personalized and configured, my scenario where this MOBA E30 Ultra is going to work. I put it in the room where we'll be working on it. Let me tell you about the design and size of this robot, which is 35 by 35 by 9. Standing at 7 cm tall, a standard height for robots. It fits perfectly under tables, under sofas, under beds, and it weighs only 3.8 kilograms. Built with high density plastic materials, finished in matte white and with minimalist details. The base measures 59 centimeters high, 45.7 centimeters wide, and 34 centimeters deep. It weighs approximately 8 kilos. It has a clean water tank of 4.5 liters and a dirty water tank of 4 liters. Okay, now let's talk about how this robot is laid out. You can also see it in the detailed shots, right? And that's because we have the light detection and ranging navigation sensor at the front on top. 360 degrees to do the 3D mapping and the three typical buttons for zone, power, and home. We have just one brush here, also a tray that we can lift up and access to the dustbin where all the debris will be stored. As you can see, if we go to the front part, we have the bumper to avoid collisions. And we also have a sensor on the side. Here we have the speaker, the ventilation area, and in the back, of course, the connectors. So it can go to the charging area and be in direct contact with the electricity and also the drainage system to fill the device with water and also to empty the dirty water. Another compartment here to empty the dust in this hatch. And if we go to the bottom area, we have the swivel wheel, proximity and drop sensors. We also have an ultrasonic sensor for shadows, the synthetic bristle brush, and a floating roller, which in this case is made of rubber. 
and it also comes with some stoppers to clean the dirt as it's coming in and a lip of silicone as well so that it stops and all the dirt gets stuck here these wheels allow it to go over thresholds of about one and a half centimeters or two centimeters and the two mopping pads we have which attach magnetically with a click are pads that can also be lifted 10.5 millimeters to go over carpets so they don't get wet and we can always keep our carpets dry now if we move on to the base part at the front we have the ramp which came separately and was not installed just like the mops and the brush the tray can be removed so we can clean out the dirt and mess whenever necessary below are the contact points and at the front the area for contact and suction to pick up and remove all the mess in the center we have this drawer where the dust bag will go now let's get to the part that matters what can this robot do and how does it work well it has 7000 pascals of suction power with bormax technology that is a premium technology that is capable of absorbing any type of debris cookie crumbs rice cat litter hair any kind of thing you can imagine and it has a battery capacity of 5200 milliamp hours about four hours of battery life which can cover around 225 square meters of space on a single charge uh, the dust capacity it can collect is 3.2 liters and it can go up to 75 days without emptying has it worked well more than two months without having to deal with the dust this is something to consider if we don't have much time to clean our home every day it features a scrubbing system called duo scrap with two mopping discs for deep cleaning and efficient stain removal and robo swing technology to improve corner cleaning for up to 60 percent which ensures that not much dirt is left behind especially in dead angles and baseboards and most importantly under our furniture however neither the brush nor the mopping pads will have the option to extend like other models we've already seen here on the channel as i mentioned before it features mop elevation of up to 10.5 millimeters when it detects a carpet it will lift the mops so they don't get wet and besides it has 3d adapt navigation with what's called the pathfinder system equipped with laser sensors that detect obstacles and prevent collisions i'm going to leave you a test here for obstacle detection so you can see it and analyze for yourselves how it cleans with obstacles i've started screen recording i moved the table which is usually here to do the test we're going to set up an area here. It tells us a specific area cleaning, which is what we want. We set the approximate size and tell it to clean this area here, right in front of where we are standing now. Here's the fireplace and that's it. We're going to tell it to only vacuum using the turbo option. Okay. But we're not going to set it to the maximum because there's not much there. And let's see how it behaves. Let's hit clean. The slippers it seems to respect them quite a bit obviously let's see what happens with the cable you've seen that bastante bien can navigate very well detecting nearly all obstacles except for socks there was a little mishap and it took one inside i'll leave it now as well meanwhile with the test we've done with solid debris well in general it seems to have cleaned quite well it has a lot of power though there was a large amount of debris on the floor but it was able to go over it without any problem however with the brush it spread the dirt a bit and left some debris since i did the cleaning in a specific area and outside of that area well it did spread a bit of dirt when passing over but overall it has quite a considerable amount of power of course we also did a liquid test in this case we poured coca-cola and also mayonnaise and it seems that well it cleaned the area pretty well what we can choose is the amount of moisture needed for cleaning the robot determines that automatically uh, we can't choose if we want more or less moisture but overall it has also cleaned pretty well it left a bit of a trace but what i didn't like is that the brush doesn't lift up so when it passed in front of the mayonnaise it also dragged part of this mixture that formed between the coca-cola and the mayonnaise other key factors include pets low furniture and children's toys on the floor 
The robot, as I mentioned before, will avoid them and won't drag them aggressively. By recognizing carpets ultrasonically, it cleans them twice and automatically increases the power if necessary. Another key feature is its compatibility with Alexa, Siri, or Google Assistant. And by saying, hey Siri, it will clean the living room and the robot will get to work. With fast charging, also 30% faster than other models, and a control app. From your phone, we will be able to customize the cleaning, choose zones, schedule times, adjust the power, and see the map of our house, even display it in 3D. This way, we can set it up to our liking and choose the cleaning method and system that best suits our needs in each moment. Additionally, it has an automatic adjustment that will intelligently increase the suction when necessary. It's called Clean Genius. To optimize the battery without compromising performance and to perfectly understand our space. In short, we have a product with features similar to others that cost much more on the market. And the what it's going to give us is a much more cost-effective option and it's still going to be just as practical. And as for conclusions, let's get straight to the point with the strong points. Quite considerable suction power, autonomy and a fairly large tank within the standard for this type of product. With intelligent mapping, navigation that's actually quite precise, and a mop that lifts and dries itself. Full voice control through the app. And if we're talking about weak points, I have to tell you that with this type of device, the base takes up quite a bit of space. They're usually pretty big, but if it does everything, we can overlook that. Good suction power, but not as powerful as other models I've tested on this channel. We're talking about 7,000 pascals. We've tested others with 18,000, even 20,000 pascals. And like almost all the robots I've tested, I miss having spare parts, which honestly is something that always puzzles me. With this kind of product, we're going to have to spend money on buying mops and dust bags. The price is around uh, 400, but can vary based on promotions. Do you have pets or do you just want a robot that practically does everything for you? Well, the MOVA E30 is a safe bet for all of this. Easy to set up, minimalist design that looks good anywhere, that's all. Let me know in the comments your thoughts, questions or comparisons of this robot to other models. Subscribe, share and as always, thanks for being there. A big like will help us keep bringing the best content here to TechGround. See you in the next video. Bye. Bye.